Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're doing a topwater fishing showdown in some ponds. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. The weather is actually cooled off a ton, and we're gonna be hoping the fish are gonna be biting today. But I got my boy Fletcher. What's going on, guys? How you doing, man? Doing good, doing dude. Good? This is the first day of the year my nipples are hard. <laughs> it is bad. I mean, I hey, he's not golly. wrong. He's not wrong. I walked outside this morning, I have one of the new, look at this, look at this. Hold on, hold on, put it, put it on me. What are you showing us over here, Noah? So I put one of the new Big Bass Energy shirts, or uh, uh, it's a big in shirts on, okay? By the way, you guys can check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, link can be down below. Look at this boy right here, what is he doing, man? Ooh, how do I zoom oh, on this? On top of your head over here. I don't know how to zoom. <laughs> Anyways, you guys can check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, we got some of the new hoodies on as well. Yeah, I walked outside, I was in a t-shirt, and I was like, I have to go back inside and give me one of these comfy hoodies. So if you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, I appreciate the love and support. Well, let's go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna be doing today. So we got a bunch of mock baits right here. Look at that, ton of mock baits. If you guys wanna check out mock baits, they're available on mocknation.com, link will be down below. So we're only gonna be using the spraying shad and the patroller today. So Fletcher, this is the rules. So we're only allowed to use those two baits, okay. both topwaters. I'm following. Spraying shad. Patroller, okay? Okay. And you can check them out on mocknation.com if you didn't already know. Oh, heck yeah, you know where I'm going after this. <laughs> so what we have to do is we gotta catch two on each bait. Whoever catches two on each bait first wins the challenge. Okay. Pretty simple, right? Nothing crazy, I mean, we don't have to catch like five on each bait, just two fish on each bait, and the winner takes home the prize. So we're gonna go ahead and get rigged up, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. If you do, hit the like button, check out Fletcher's channel down below. Let's hop right into it. So guys, this is what I'm gonna start off with. I got a white patroller here on the Kicking Their Bass X Lose combo. If you guys wanna check these out, only available on kickingtheirbass.com. Link can be down below. Fletcher, what do you think your choice is gonna be to start off with? Whew. I'm I'm really feeling the patroller, man. I don't know, there's something <laughs> about fall weather, top water, moving baits. I really think that's gonna get these bass going. Um, but I might start with the, the spray and shad. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to get them tied on or take a look at them once I get this rigged up and see what I'm gonna go with. I, at the end of the day, I got fish with them both. So maybe I might just start with the, with the spray and shad just to get that one out of the way and then move on to the patroller and you know just take home the victory after that. But we're going, we're going to see what the fish are in the mood for. Well, either way, we got to catch two fish on each. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe I could get ahead on the patroller because I love the patroller. I know you do too. But then again, we got to catch two on each one. So we're going to see what's going to happen, guys. Let's go ahead and hop into it and see if we can catch some big ones for y'all. My heart's telling me to go with the patroller to start with, but I think I'm going to have to put this on the back burner and get started with the spraying shad because I do think this is going to be the harder of the two baits to catch some fish on just because of the conditions and whatnot. I'm going to go with this color right here bone color is really good on cloudy days so that is going to be the color of choice let's get this little puppy rigged up a snip snip and we are ready to go guys all right fletcher you ready you don't want the smoke boy why are you walking so fast <laughs> <laughs> that's why you like just kind of kind of creeping up the question is are they going to eat the top water so obviously you guys know the weather last week me and fletcher were gonna fish but <laughs> There's kind of a hurricane blowing in. So we didn't get the fish. And our question is, especially with the cold cold weather right now, are they gonna bite really good or do you think they're gonna bite really bad? I really don't know. We just had that big storm blow in. When was the storm, Fletcher? Like three days ago? Yeah, two or three days ago. So I'm hoping these fish are gonna bite. I just, I think it's either gonna be really good or it's gonna be really bad. Like these conditions look so good for top water, but at the same time, the air is cooled off a ton. I can only assume the water temps are cooled off. To adjust to it. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I just I just hope they didn't get hit in the head too hard with this. And we're gonna see. And by the way, guys, these uh, mock baits, you can check them out on Dick's Sporting Goods too. Um, any of your local dick sporting goods should happen. Gosh, I'm praying that these fish are gonna bite, guys. It's kinda, this weather's kinda has me a little worried. Just a little worried. We've seen a few aggressive ones. Only gotta catch four fish to win the challenge today, so. But it might be a hard four fish to catch. That's why, that's why I didn't make it like 10 fish or anything. I was like, just four fish would do it.
trying to see if uh, I can get one on the edge of this grass to come. I'm just going pretty fast. You guys know I like to cover a lot of water. I'm just trying to put this grass edge effectively. Guys, these mock baits come with the most razor sharp hooks <laughs> y'all have ever seen. These things are tack sharp. I, one time I just barely hit no in the leg with, with one of these things and it just went right into his skin, like all the way. I don't know guys, my hunch is telling me the conditions are gonna be tough today. Cause usually this corner is pretty much dynamite for like at least one or two fish. I'd say like 98 out of a hundred times we come to this pond, we catch one in <laughs> that corner almost immediately. And I took a few casts in there and absolutely no luck. And Noah's been working his way down the bank over here. Haven't heard any hooting hollering from his direction. So it looks like these fish are going to be a little bit on the tough side today. Dude, there was a boil right there. He tried to eat me. Dang it, dude. Literally thought I had one under me. That's a good sign though. Dog dog. I'm losing my marbles, guys. Come on, come on. Will he do it? Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? I wish, I hope you guys saw that on the GoPro. He dove over it like a freaking shark. Gosh. That's a good sign, though, guys. It's a great sign. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe that. Today, I just feel like. We can't have many missed opportunities if we're wanting to win this little challenge that we got going. And he just didn't commit, which I feel like we're going to see a lot of that today. But I'm just glad that we saw a fish try to eat this. That's unfortunate that he didn't really try to eat it. You see how hesitant he is? That, that's due to when you have a cold front or you have something big blow in like this, you tend to get a good bit of bites, but they can be a little finicky. You know, they might not commit. Even if you're throwing a worm, what I've figured out is when a big front blows in, you'll get a lot of bites, but you just, they just don't commit. They'll kind of like peck at it. And that was kind of that same situation, but just with the top water there. You know, that fish came up, he rolled on it, he followed it back, rolled on it. And then I threw it back in there and he kind of rolled on it again. I mean, he just no co no commitment there well guys that does it for pond number one fishing was not good i'm just thinking it's this front you know has them a little messed up and of course we're trying to catch them on top water today which is probably the worst thing that we can we can throw out a bass that's really lethargic and kind of beat up from this weather but we're still going to do it you know that's what we do here on the channel we come out even when the conditions are tough there's some weird baits too and we're going to see if we can make it happen i love a top water bite so i'm hoping we'll end up catching them here rolling up on spot number two it looks a little flooded oh it's definitely flooded the water's up like easily a foot with all this rain that we've had watch them bite like crazy in this one I like can't decide if I want to steady retrieve this thing or if I want to pop it because of how slow they are. I feel like I, I go steady. That's what I'm I, thinking, at least because I gotta I gotta use the popper anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I start catching them on the popper, then. Fletcher, look, look. Are they schooling out there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's bait flickering and they're schooling on them. So we saw a few fish, kind of flutter out here. I don't know if it was bait, bass, brim. We're going to try. It's kind of hard to fish this popper in these reeds. Feeling good about this one, guys. This is the cast where we take the lead. First fish on the board, baby. <gasps> big boy, big boy, huge boy.
Don't tell me that's what y'all are gonna do to me. I need y'all to bite. I need y'all to eat. That was a freaking good boil too, man. That wasn't a small one. Oh, yeah, dude, that was a bite too, buddy. Yeah, thank God. He's not even that big, but he looks freaking monstrous when he hit that thing. Woo. Gotta get us started. All right, guys, we are off to a good start. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. That bite was freaking aggressive. It would not surprise me if this is the one that bit me before. Bro, you act like you are a five, six pounder when you hit that thing. <laughs> Look at that, pretty fish, nothing big, but man, I'm excited, especially on a tough day like today. You know, you'll take whatever you get. And to start off the video right here, first fish today, I'm proud of it. That gets today started. Let's go. Just three more to go, guys. I just had a gut instinct to throw back over there. I don't know what it was. I like kind of made some other casts, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it again. And I threw back over there, and sure enough, he just clobbered it. He hit it hard. I'm assuming that was the same fish. I don't want to. I don't know. I mean, it could have been a different one, but just the way he boiled was similar to the first time. He freaking tanked that thing. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'll tell you, like, I love topwater fishing, but it's even more rewarding when you know the conditions are super tough and you just get up and get one to slam it like that. Oh, that's a great feeling. And then we rode down from there. We got a video done that day. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he ain't, hey. Our bait back on my rod. He ain't big, but he counts. <laughs> Well, I'm cutting mine off, so if you want to take it, yeah. you're more than welcome. Let's do a switcheroo because they don't want this thing. Hey, Fletcher, that's a minnow, dude, but guess what? He counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Normally, I wouldn't be too proud of this little guy, but hey, today, Fletcher, how are the conditions today? It's pretty rough, ain't it? Not good. Not good. <laughs> like, this fish makes me so happy. Plus, I haven't fished in the last few weeks, and like, just catching anything right now, I'm enjoying. Thank you, buddy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know it's freaking chilly. Did that fish splashed me. I thought it was gonna feel good, but it does not feel good right now. Is the water warm? Not really. Put your hand in it. Like compared to the like, I would think it would be a lot warmer than the air. All right, y'all. Me and Fletcher just did the little trade. <laughs> I'm glad to be using this, man. Have fun. Have fun. That's all I have to say. Yeah, Fletcher said they're not biting this the best right now. Which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, so at the beginning, Fletcher, I was popping it. And, and the steady retrieve in. well you know i got a couple swirls on it but i think the steady retrieve they were just more aggressive with it because it's trying to get away from them yeah dude, it's just like the chase in the fall man yeah i just think this popper is so slow which it could be good but i feel like with how lethargic these fish are they're really wanting to kind of turn up on something yeah i feel like you just got to get that reaction strike yeah exactly exactly i don't know this is going to be a little difficult guys but i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try i think we can still get a couple on this you gotta catch up, Fletcher. You gotta catch one or two. Dude, I'm, they call me the two cast wander. The two cast wander. I want. I want to see it. Actually, one, I'm catch one cast, two fish. <laughs> All right, Noah. This is where I make my comeback. All right, I want to see it. I'm gonna do my best. Hey, just don't let me get up three to zero. I'm, That's. I'm going out to this dock. The water's actually really clear. Walking around to the secret dock back here. Not too many people know this is back here. Just kind of hidden away. Wiggle down through the bushes let's find ourselves a nice lmb all right y'all we're at our third pond of the day two fish so far been a little slow let's see what we can do hoping i can get a couple on this popper i'm ahead of fletcher by two right now i'm in a good spot i just i'm kind of concerned about this popper because they're so finicky today but at the same time that that patroller literally just is so like aggressive that i think that's what's fired them off the bite i i really don't believe that those fish wanted to bite it's just that thing was so mean and aggressive running past them that he's probably gonna end up getting slammed i don't know if my best bet is to like pop and pause or like to just work it super fast i really don't know 
And my best bet is here because these fish are like not aggressive. I need to fire them up somehow. All right, this point over here to the left is the money spot. I mean, this is where I'm feeling like just instant bite. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah. That fish crushed it. Stay down, you sucker. Oh, baby. All right, Noah. We're coming back, baby. We are coming back. A nice one, too. She's nice and healthy and chunky. Probably about two and a half. She's she's fat, man. She's got some, some girth to her. Look at that. Fat mama. That's a nice one. The first of four because we're catching four before Noah does. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this sucker back in and move on to the next. Oh, Woo. Golly, dude, she's dancing for us. This pine straw is going to be the death of us back here. I mean, it's, it's just attaching to everything. I got to be so patient with this popper. And then, like, I get like three pops in. You get a one strand of pine straw. All right, pond number four. That's a, that is an interesting question because, did I? Oh, oh shoot, yeah, right there on the bank. I didn't even see that. Oh, golly, first cast, that's a good one. That's the best one so far today, easily. Four pounds, three, three and a half, four pounds. That's a fatty. Crush it first cast. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. dude, look at that look one. Look at that meatball, dude. That is a fall <laughs> bass. To tie it up, dude. That's a freaking fatty. I mean, first cast. God, I can hardly get my hand around her. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get some pliers because she's floppy. My GoPro died like right when I turned it on, so I was like, I'm gonna run back and get the camera. <laughs> Begin our surgery procedure here. Well, you're done with the plop. Now you got to go to the splash. I know. The splash. Now we're all tied up, baby. And, you know, now it's the uh, who's got more heart, more determination <laughs> with the, to with get the through this weather. But I'm liking the signs of what we're seeing right out the gate. Bro, what do you think? She's, do you think she's pushing forward? Yeah, she's close. She's she's not that long. but She's fat. Holy dude, she got some thickness on her, man. Good job, dude. Gotta love it. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one for today. Well, let's hurry on back and get her right back in here. See if we can't get some more of where this bat girl came from. Give her a nice release. And we own to the papa. I don't have a bone, but I actually have one that's not quite as chrome in here, which is the one I think I'm gonna go with. So I don't really know what's going on with the bite here today, guys. Cause so far Noah's had two bites on the bank. Both of my bites just came randomly out in the middle. So as of right now, it doesn't seem like there's really any rhyme or reason as to what these fish are doing or where they're hanging out. So we're just going to get out there, start casting around, see if we can make something happen. All right, guys, we're going to do a little walk around. Yeah, this fish definitely wants something more aggressive today just to piss them off and they just push. That's why I think that patrol is working so well. You know, they see that thing run past their face. You know, they get pissed and they just eat it. This thing is so subtle. Especially right now with how they are, they're just not one to one to grab. I don't think it's impossible. I think we can still catch them on it, but the patroller's definitely outperforming. The way I'm gonna work this thing, I'm trying to work it fast. Dang near reeling it. Okay. Oh! Yeah! He's a big one too. He's stuck. Oh no, he's out, he's out. It's a big one, boys. It's a big one. Oh, it's a nice one. I gotta land him, guys. Oh. Yes! Ah, he's a fatty! Dude, he's a freaking football, Fletcher. The stubbiest, fattest fish. Oh, I knew we could do it. Look at that freaking brute. Woo! 
Got him right in his nose. Boys, it has not been an easy day, but we've came out with some freaking fatties. Let me tell you that. Fletcher just caught a, a good solid like four pounder. I just got this good solid three number, and that is a... <gasps> he got slammed too, I heard it. Oh, we're tied up, baby. <laughs> Let's go, same spot I caught that second one in. I started fishing it fast, and sure enough, that fish showed up and slurped it. Boom bada bing. It is a race to the finish, guys. Three to three. <laughs> Going for the fish bump over here? Yeah. Oh, that is a nice one, dude. I know, we tied it up too, right at back of that. Hey, this is gonna be down to the wire, baby. Holy cow. Boom. There's some good fish, dude. Here, let's And get they're it. a little bit more active in here. Fish bump, man. Boom. Holy cow. This has been a challenge, guys. <laughs> Oh, watch out. You're about to get a hook in your foot. Yeah, I see it. Ooh. Wouldn't that have been awesome? That would have been something. Just slurp these guys right past you. Because I got one more fish to catch. I ain't letting you win this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to run back. I shouldn't have ran all the way over there. Oh, they wasted my time. Because whoever catches them, the next fish wins. We were talking about how the patroller is getting all the bites, and then we both get slammed back to back. That was a freaking fatty, man. Can't be doubting the spray and shad too early. <gasps> yes! Yeah, it's a good one too. Oh! Oh, we gotta land him, guys. Gotta land him, baby. Mm. Mm. That is the challenge, boys. Look at that, baby. Dude, we freaking smoked them right here, man. That's the spot, man. Why did we start here? I don't know. We went all around the world, guys. Couldn't really get nothing going. And then we come out here and we start catching some freaking nice ones, man. I mean, the that size guy. and the quantity. Yeah, man. That's a good fish. Good. This place is looking spicy for the top waters. But there we go, guys. That's the winning fish. We caught some good ones in here and had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Check out some of the mock baits down below. Check out Fletcher's channel as well. And I will catch you all in the next video.